Hello, this is just a quick video to document some of the work I'm doing on a Kenwood TS520. You can see it if I tilt. I have it on an angle right now because I'm working on it. The bottom cover is off. This is the bottom of the radio. A couple of uh, issues I've discovered so far. One issue is that, let's see if I can zoom in, there is a crack in the tuning coil. This tuning coil right here has an insert that you turn in order to help tune the frequency. That insert is ceramic and somebody broke it. So I can't tune that particular tuning coil, which is unfortunate. The other problem I had is that when I would um, transmit with it or try and tune it up to transmit, since this is a tube driven radio, uh, after a few minutes the power output would drop to zero, and I couldn't get any amps out, I couldn't get any volts, I couldn't get anything out of it. So what uh, one of the YouTube videos I saw said, check these two capacitors. These are actually the bottom, looking at the bottom of the capacitors here and here, and we're looking for bulges in the bottom of these plates. Let's see if I can get in a little bit so you can see the bulges. There's one right there. It looks like a, a bump. It looks like a pimple in the black area right there and that bulge means that capacitor is no good so there's another one on this one here Let's see if I can get a light on it you can see that bulge on the bottom of the capacitor that's not a good thing there's one on that one and one on that one those capacitors are actually a little shorter than these big guys but they're we're looking at them from the bottom of the board that's the bottom of the capacitor and that's where the bulge is so we're gonna replace that both of those I have coming in the mail. This coil, I don't think there's anything I can do about this tuning coil. Um, it's not far off frequency right now, so I think I might just leave it. But the other issue I have to face is there's a lot of corrosion inside this. You can see here, all kinds of corrosion. Um, I bought it knowing there was some corrosion, but I didn't realize it was quite this bad. Especially see down, down here up here it's pretty awful so not much I can do about that except maybe tear the whole radio down at some point and uh, and fix it but I don't know well, it's disappointing so anyway I just wanted to document what I found so far that coil is broken the tuning coils broken and then these two capacitors which I have new ones coming in the mail and that's it we'll uh, get back onto it once we have those replaced